All right, join us now on Inside TBT, playing for the Tennessee Volunteers alumni team this summer, Chris Lofton. Chris, welcome to the show. I appreciate y'all having me. I'm excited. Of course, we're excited too, and we know that uh, you know those Tennessee fans out there will be excited. TBT fans will be excited. First off, we're going to let you pump those Tennessee fans up. How excited are you? to get those colors back on and play and represent Tennessee once again. No, I'm so excited. Me and my teammates have been trying to get this together for the last few years. And, you know, at the last minute, it all falls apart. And this year it really looks like we're, we're going to do it. So I'm excited, you know, um, putting that Tennessee orange on for another, de- for another time is going to be very special. And hope fans come out and, you know, cheer us on and able to watch us and support us. So, you mentioned the guys. Talk a little bit about the team, guys who you feel are, are locked in and are, and are on the roster and ready to roll. What should people be looking forward to? Who are some of the guys you're most excited to play with? Give us the inside scoop. Uh, we're, um, we're working on our roster right now. I know he's got, you know, food players locked in. The most recent would be Lamonte Turner, uh, Jordan Bowden. They both played for Tennessee recently. So those would be the names, like, people would, know, you know, probably know most. Um, then, you know, guys that I play with, Juwan Smith, Cam Tatum, Tyler Smith, Wayne Chisholm, Duke Cruz, um, those guys. And, you know, we're just, you know, just excited to, again, put that orange on and just play because, you know, I've watched the tournament for a long time now. I played into two years ago. I was disappointed I didn't get to play last year. Um, so it's just, you know, I watch every every game that was on TV and it's just exciting, man. Like, I, I can't wait. You know, it's a it's a tournament that, it's very special because it's, you know, it's like the NCAA tournament all over again. You know, one game you're out, guys are playing for a million dollars, and, you know, who can't use that money? I think we all could use, you know, extra money, and it's, it's definitely going to be special. I can't, you know, get to practice with those guys and put that orange on one more time. It's, a, it's always – One of the other ahead, guys – Go ahead, Joey. <laughs> I was just going to say, because it's on the topic, one of the other guys that we have to mention because – uh, me and Andrew are both from Chicago. I played against this guy a hundred times growing up. What about Admiral Schofield? What's the deal with him? You give him a call? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We talked to Admiral. We don't know. With You know, he's working on his NBA stuff, so we're trying to, you know, wait around. But, of course, you know, Admiral wants to play. So he's always got a spot on our team for sure. So uh, good. Just make sure. Yeah. Something you said, which I think is really cool, is it sounds like not only do you like playing in TBT, you're a fan. Oh, for sure. Pretty cool. So, but last year when you guys weren't able to play and you were watching, were you like, this is so great, basketball's back? Or were you like, damn, we could we could have won this thing this year? How were you feeling watching last summer? Just like, man, I wish I was out there playing. Um, but, you know, I gave a lot of props to TBT, how they still made the tournament happen through the COVID and all that, you know. Like, I, ain't, I doubted you. I was like, no, nah, they're not going to be able to do it. They're not going to be able to get it done. Everything's canceled. There's no way, but. You know, y'all kept saying y'all was going to do it, and I was just waiting to the last minute to be like, see, it was canceled, but, you know, y'all kept, y'all, you know, persevered and got through it and made it happen, and, and it was special. And, you know, at that time, I don't think basketball was on, so that was something for everybody to watch. And, you know, as a basketball fan like me, it was, it was special. Now, were there any teams that you watched specifically that you were like, all right, like next year I really want a shot at these guys? Not really. You know, it was it was just a matter of me just being out there playing. You know, I was amazing. Yeah. I, didn't play against, I just want an opportunity, you know, to play for this million dollars and just to, you know, be you playing. That's, you know, that's what I love to do. So way back when, when you were in college, when you had those, you know, those young legs, your beard was a little smaller, you know, hadn't grown as much. I didn't have any beard. I had to pick face. You're averaging about uh, 17 career points per game. Do you think you could put up numbers like that for your uh, volunteers team this summer? I mean, we'll see. I hope, man. You know, I'm a little older now, but, you know, like, you know, nothing's impossible. So, we'll see, man. I just want to do whatever I can to help my team win. And if it's score, it's – that's what it is. Just I just want W's at the end of the day. I don't care how many points I score. Or, as long as we win, I'm happy. We got to eat the – eat the W. <laughs> <laughs> so so if you're such a team player what would you rather have making making St. Aliou for a big dunk or hitting a big time shot what what do you like more what do I like more I mean I think it depends on 
the time of the game, you know? Like, I would love to uh, you throw a lob to one of my teammates and they don't, you know, momentum. Or I'd love to hit a dagger three when we, you know, when we need it or we're down, we need a bucket. That's what it's about. I'd say both. But for me, you know, nothing's like hitting that three, though. It's a different feeling. What about hitting <laughs> What about hitting? What about hitting an Elam ending shot? Would you rather a sit to an Elam ending shot and be like, "Hey, I set up my teammate." Would you rather hit the Elam ending shot? I want to hit the shot. I want that. I want that. All right, there we go. I want to send him home and do the Dame Lillard. You know? Yeah, I like it. (laughs) So let's. I mean, we should talk about the Elam ending a little bit. Uh, without giving any, you know, strategy away, obviously, what are your takeaways from the Elam ending, how teams are executing in the Elam ending, what just your general thoughts are on it? Um, you know, that's something we talk to everybody about because it's a huge part of TBT. I mean, I like it. It's different for sure. It, it reminds me of, you know, when you're playing, you know, pick up. I don't know if you guys should play how, you know, you go to team, got to win by two. You know, whoever wins by two and – so it reminds me a little of that and just a different level. And that Elam Endo makes really makes you like lock in and focus in. Like if you need stops, you need a bucket because there's no time anymore. And you really got to lock in. And it makes you, I think it makes you like focus more and, you know, trying to get the task, trying to get the job done. You know, whatever it is, maybe you need a bucket, maybe you need to stop, you know, whatever it is, it makes you really lock in more. So you, you played in TBT a few years ago. So you definitely have some, Elam ending experience when you're you know getting with your team practicing getting ready for the summer what's going to be some advice you give to your teammates about how to not only play in the Elam ending but win I, I mean I, I told him it's, it's intense from the tip to the end so like you got to bring it every possession every possession matters and you know energy high energy and you know defense all is really plays a crucial key in the in the EBT because everybody's out here fighting for that million dollars. You know, everybody wants everybody wants that money. So the different it's a different intensity, and you got to match it. I think the beauty of the TBT, and you mentioned it, is playing like it's the NCAA tournament. I mean, it's win or go home. Do you think it gives you guys an advantage being an alumni team who most of your teammates play together in the NCAA tournament? I mean, you can say that, but. And we're all older now. I was saying, you know, <laughs> I was saying, but I have the knowledge of knowing how it is in the NCAA tournament. So it's, it's, it's just a special tournament. And, you know, we're all looking forward to it. Like I said, we've been playing this for like three years, but at the last minute, something always happens. Like a couple of players can't play and, you know, something always happens. So this year it feels like we're really, like we're, we're about to do it. So there's 64 teams this year hopefully, and we've offered this to a majority of them, but we'll offer it to you too. You know, come tournament time, you need a couple more guys. We're ready to go. All right, Joey, Joey played at Ohio State. I'm in tip-top shape. We're ready. We're ready to go ball for the volunteers if you need us. So don't – you got my number. If, you're, if, you're wasp, if your roster's dwindling down, you got two more guys ready to go. And whoever calls us first gets us. Okay, well, we'll keep you in mind. We'll see. Let me get the roster straightened out. Then we'll call you. We'll, we'll see, man. We'll see. All right. Well, that's actually. Uh, I'll be up for that. Would you say? Yeah. I was just saying that's the closest we've gotten to actually getting it. Usually guys are like, no. No chance. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean. First, man. We'll, let me get the roster together first. And then uh, I got y'all's numbers. Well, you know, we'll see. Well, you know, you might have to go through a little trial. We might like to see what y'all got, you know. That's, I mean, the truth of the matter is two things. Number one, and this should tell you a lot about, about me right now. Number one, I am in the worst shape of my life by far. And number two, my alumni team, Ohio State, which I was a member of the basketball program for four years, they're in the TBT and I haven't gotten a call from them. So if that tells you anything, um, you know, that's all you need to know. Chris, I got a, I got a question for you. So – because you're such a big fan, obviously, you know, TBT likes to hype up the storylines, likes to pull some strings, you know, match teams up that could, you know, potentially spark some excitement. I potentially see a little rivalry with East Tennessee State. You know, they're not an SEC school. It's not like you guys had a big rivalry with them 
college or an every year thing, but you know, that could become a TBT rivalry. What do you think about a potential rivalry with that team? That would be nice. Um, you know, ETSU, I know they got some great alumni. I know they'll put a great team together and you know, it'll be fun. You know, I feel like, you know, I feel like every game, whoever we play is going to be exciting, you know, just because that, like I said, that intensity for this a million dollars, you know, one game and you're out. So any team you play against, you put against us, I think it's going to be exciting and, you know, energy is going to be high. So we're just, we're looking, we're really looking forward to the plan. What's the first thing you're doing when you win the, when you win your share of a million dollars? What's the first thing you're buying? Uh, Besides us, a Chipotle burrito. <laughs> <laughs> uh good question man i don't know what i'll do honestly um i'm probably oh you know what man give your winning share to me i'll turn it into uh i'll turn it into two hundred thousand. i promise <laughs> hey that's all maybe look at investing in something try to you know try to invest it in something try to win some more money somehow make some more money there we go my last question I got for you. you say bitcoin joey <laughs> just throw it all at this point. <laughs> Seems to work. My, my last question, all right? I know that you got some guys, your former teammates maybe, other guys that are on the fence. So I want you to pick one of those guys right now, call them out by name, and say, you better get your ass in the court for TBT this summer. <laughs> Let me see. I'm trying to think. I think all my teammates that, are, that still play or playing – are actually playing on the team. But I will – let me see. Let me see. Let me see some young guys that we need. Who we need. Let's see. We love to have Kevin Punter, Kyle Alexander. Like, we would love to have them on the team. Jordan McCray, you know, like we would love to have them three on the team. There we go. We'll call them. Give, you know what? Give, them, give, them our, give me their number. I'll get them on the show, <laughs> and we'll get them on the team. <laughs> Yeah, Andrew's the ultimate recruiter. You just throw anyone his way, he'll he'll get you all set up. Don't worry. Yes, sir. I'm, uh, I'm excited. Last question, and we ask this question to every guest that comes on our show, um, and I know you're going to be super prepared for this. Do you have any questions for us? We want to turn the tables on you, let you interview us for a sec. You got any questions about anything you want to ask us? Yeah, yeah. If y'all play one-on-one right now, who will win? Well, I, I, I still think I would give it to Joey, but I think he would beat me, but be more tired, if that makes sense. 100%. 100%. I would just miss more shots. Oh, yeah, I got you. I got you. I mean, I, I legitimately had I, – I played pickup once maybe in the last two months. I mean, like, I haven't touched the ball. But I'll still – Oh man, yeah, I'll 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 beat Andrew. No, yeah, I think <laughs> if, we, if we played a seven game series right now and we had to play all seven games, not best of seven, we just played seven games. Yeah, I think I could get one off you, one out of seven. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Because once I won the first four, I would stop caring. <laughs> I think I could. I think I think I could uh, cause a gentleman sweep. <laughs> yeah, I, when you play when you play one on one, like unless someone is like physically dominating you, which I can't do, it's just not my game. Like you just got to make some shots and you win. Like it's just that's what basketball is. It's just who can make more shots. So like if you're making shots and I'm missing shots, I think I'd, I'd win game. I'd, I'd win game game. three at home. I'd win game three at home. My fans would be like. Um, I think we could do this. Like, he looked really good in game three. And then Joey would I would go to uh, three five. And it would just be <laughs> also. Gentleman oh. sweet. Exactly. Yeah. Gentleman sweet. Well, Chris, this is what we'll do. You get a teammate at TBT, and we'll do two on two, me and you versus Joey, and you can pick your worst teammate to play with Joey. <laughs> <laughs> like playing. I'll do it. But after you guys win – so that you're not wasting energy on us. <laughs> yeah, we'll just do we'll just do a three point competition in Dayton. What'd you say? I said we'll just do a three point contest in Dayton, and then we're good. That'd be better. Let's do a three point shootout. Yeah. So now there's a little added pressure on you because you got to make it to Dayton so you can hang out with us. Oh right, hey, yeah. I got I got to get back in the gym. I got to start working out. Exactly. All right, man. Well, thanks for coming on. Closer to TBT, we'll have you on again. We'll have some teammates. We'll do a full volunteers episode. 
and you got to come with some more questions because now you know that's coming next time. Yeah, I'll be prepared. I'll be ready next time. All right. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank Please, you, man. Thank you.